welcome, welcome. I'm Mama Eve, and today's been a great day, a wonderful day, a fantastic day. But what's more important, today is your day. Today's video, part two of the last video posted, Martha the Dominator. Today, I just wanted to give you just a quick glimpse of how you can set up an altar to her. Now, there's not many things you're gonna need. And most things you can get from the grocery store. So, however, let's just go over a few things and um, let's have some fun. Number one, I have a statue. If you do not have a statue, that is perfectly okay. Print you out a picture. It does not even have to be a big picture. It could just be a small picture. It's not about the size of the picture, but it's about uh, when you do your prayers or your petition, you have a, a, a center point that you can, a vision point, a tension point that you can look at these pictures and use these pictures as a tool. Now, it doesn't even matter if you use this one or you use this one. It's both the same energies. Doesn't matter, all right? So, we have the statue. Then we have um, some of her offerings, some of her feast foods. So, I just got a green plate because green is her color. I could have used a purple plate. And on the plate, I have eggs, white rice, and an eggplant. Now, the thing about the eggs, they cannot be cracked. They could be raw or boiled, but they need to be uncracked. All right? If you don't have white rice, you can also use white flour. You can also use a piece of pound cake or dark chocolate. These are her feast foods also. If you don't have all of them and you just have an eggplant, just use the eggplant. Or if you just have an egg, just use the egg. All right? So then we have black coffee. Black coffee. She loves black coffee. So you, you can use black coffee. Um, I have some perfume here. So what we do generally is once a week, once every two weeks, we cleanse our statue. And I'll do a video of how you can cleanse statues. But quite often, we spray them with perfume. So what I have a good suggestion. There is some very inexpensive perfumes. You can even get some for a dollar. Doesn't matter the scent, whether it's flowers or if it smells more like a men's cologne. Get you a few and put them in your tool chest, your spiritual tool chest. Because quite often, we spray our, our statues, but we also spray around in the atmosphere. So. If you have a statue, you can spray it or put some perfume on her. Or if you do not and you just have pictures, which is perfectly okay, spray it around your altar. Spray it as you're preparing your altar. You can spray it before you do your prayers. All right? I have St. Martha incense burning now. However, you can use anything white. You can use white roses. You can use coconut. You can use um, flour, any, any white um, incense, scent. It's perfectly okay. You can also use frankincense and myrrh because that's a sacred uh, incense. And that's good for, for everything. All right? Now, I have here St. Martha's Oil. And I said this before, and I'm going to say it again. Any of these things that you need, 
that's on any of my videos, you can get from me. You just have to hit me up in the comments or hit the link and we can mail these things to you. But on Tuesdays, when you light the candle, put a few drops of her oil on the candle. So what I usually do, this is another tool that you may need because we're gonna use these quite often on my channel. Just the bamboos, and you can get them from any grocery store or the dollar store, all right? So I put seven holes in my candle and they're going clockwise, all right? Now, some, some of the wax is very soft, so you can get it down pretty good, but some of it is kind of hard, so just press it down as much as you can. And then I put a cap of oil in the candles. All right. Now, I'm using purple and green glitter. Remember, glitter catches the attention of the angels, our deities, our spirit guides, our ancestors. So for this working, or for this altar, purple and green. And listen, if you have the green candle, Fine. This one is the white one. Fine. Now, if you cannot find these candles and you just have a solid green candle or a solid purple candle, you can use those candles. I'm not too um, picky about plain candles versus screened candles because, number one, I make sure that I give you the prayers. And with a lot of these intention candles, the prayers are in Spanish. So you would have to get it translated. So I'm the translator. How about that? That's wonderful, Mama. Thank you. So you have these prayers. Keep these prayers. Start your collection. If you have a book of shadows, that is wonderful to keep your prayers in it so you can resort back to the prayers. All right? Now, we almost finished. Don't forget, y'all. Always offer your deities, your spirit guides, clean, fresh water. No, it does not have to be something that you uh, buy. Just get it out the tap, but just make sure that is fresh and clean and the glass is clean right so I've showed you a simple way to set up her altars but I do not want to forget to tell you before I recite these prayers again I do not want to forget to tell you her altar should be set on the floor or a little bit above the floor so you say mama I have kids I have little honey buns and I'm scared that they might knock something over I would prefer you to set it up on a table than to have it on the floor and something happened that we will regret all right if you can set it on the floor on Tuesday so Wednesday through Monday, set it up on the table. You can even put it out of sight. But on Tuesday, make her altar. It doesn't have to be down there all day. You can burn the candles for one hour, for 30 minutes. Because the thing is the candle and the prayer. But you need to have a relationship with her. She's one that will help anybody you do not have to have her just as your deity to help you but you need a relationship so on Tuesdays it's so important to light her candle you don't even have to set up her feast offerings every Tuesday you don't have to do that but every once in a while set up her feast offerings okay so now I'm going to recite the two prayers and I want you to write them down if you didn't. And I'll try to talk slowly so that you can have time to write them 
Um, so you can use them for reference. First prayer. Saint Martha the Dominator, help me to regain control and dominate challenges in my life. Lend me your aid so that I may overcome difficulties with ease. Allow me the strength to take control of my destiny and guide my life towards its ultimate fulfillment. Now, a lot of people use Santa Martha in love workings. It is a different prayer. That's not neither one of the one that I'm reciting. So if you're using her for love workings, Google her prayer for love rituals. Also, she is a wonderful deity. If you're struggling with low self-esteem, if you're doing self-love work, she will help you overcome hurdles and difficulties in your life. And guess what? Some of our hurdles and difficulties are our own selves. All right? She can help you. Second prayer. Saint Martha, I resort to thy aid and protection as proof of my affection and faith. I offer this light, that is the candle, which I shall burn every Tuesday. Comfort me in all my difficulties and through the great favors thou didst enjoy when the Savior was lodged in your home. Intercede for my family that we may be provided for in our necessities. I ask of thee, St. Martha, to overcome all difficulties as thou didst overcome the dragon which thou hadst at thy feet. Amen. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. It is so simple and so easy for her altars. Try it. All right. Allow her spirit and her energy to help you overcome difficulties, even on your job, in your personal life, in your love life, in your home. Use her. All right. Doesn't matter if you want to put a picture of this one or this one. Same energy, different pictures. All right. It's been a good day. It's been a great day. It's been a marvelous day. Don't forget, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the notification bell. Oh, yeah. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. I really appreciate you. And for those that keep viewing my, my videos, I appreciate you too. Share them. And you just have a wonderful day today because it is your day. Kisses. Mm -hmm.